you know, any founder would know that taking a company from idea to inception is very, very, very hard. But I had a passion to help other employees get fit at work. And now that I'm seeing the impact it's having and I created it with my partner, you're not gonna get that feeling from anything else. So it really is unique doing your own thing and I definitely do it again. Tara Talking Tech Women in Tech is an innovative interview series that features seven rad women working in tech. We talk about everything from technology, entrepreneurship, relationships, and money, and we get personal as the women share their biggest fears and accomplishments. Today, I sit down with tech entrepreneur and Sprout CEO and co-founder, Martha Switzer. So tell me, what is Sprout? So Sprout essentially is an application, an enterprise application that inspires employees to get fit and that empowers employers with the tools to manage and measure the impact. How did you decide to, you know, come up with this idea or how did you guys decide that you were ready to start your own business? I grew up being a competitive dancer and I'm a marathon runner, so sports always been a huge part of who I am. Um, my partner as well, um, competitive swimmer, very, very athletic her whole life. And she spent most of her career investment banking. And so she wasn't well at work at okay, all, okay. you know, working the they long. They weren't as concerned about yes, her well-being. they did not focus on wellness for their employees. Okay. And I realized that, you know, there was such a big opportunity to have a sustainable, scalable, measurable solution around wellness. So it was kind of by fluke that uh, it turned into a tech company and all of a sudden we found ourselves starting a tech startup. Sprout was one of 10 companies that was selected to participate in the Nike Accelerator last March. So tell me a little bit about that experience. Um, so that experience was awesome. We went down three months, lived in Portland, worked directly with the Nike team. We integrated with um, the Nike Fuel Band, okay. uh, the Nike Running Watch, the Nike Plus app. So really, really, really great experience for us. And our business has excelled uh, since coming out of that. Now, the really interesting thing that a lot of people might not know about that experience is that you actually went down with your recent newborn. So we went down to that when she was about eight weeks old. And at first, I didn't think I would go, um, you know, just given the timing, but decided I did not want to miss the opportunity uh, to be part of that. So what I did is I just strapped her on, wore the baby Bjorn, and I brought her to everything. Um, and it worked out well. That really is setting a trend for, I think, future female entrepreneurs and women that want to be moms, too. That I love that you're not saying it's either or. You know? Yeah. And I think I, you know, I'd love to encourage uh, women to do that because I think a lot of us face that decision of, ah, should I do career? Or, you know, I'm thinking about family at the same time. But really, you can do both. And it's just being really effective with your time. You know, I've learned how to really be efficient with my time when I'm at work or when I'm at home. And you can make it happen. What keeps you up longer at night? A new business or a, a new baby? Oh, good <laughs> question. Um, both, I think. <laughs> They're both. And, you know, my daughter now sleeps through the night. Okay. So she's sleeping sort of seven till seven. Okay. But then there's those nights where she's up four or five times. I mean, your business is always on your mind when it's yours. And when you're really passionate about it, I think right. you're always right. thinking about new ideas and what you can do and so on. But when you like it, it's, it's great. Can you give us an example of somebody that inspires you? I'd have to say my husband, actually. When I think of tech and his experience, he's an executive at Hootsuite um, now, and he's just been so key in my journey so far and being a supporter of me and teaching me things and uh, about the tech community and about product that I didn't know before because I, I don't have a tech background. Mm -hmm. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, actually, someone said to me once that a large percentage of businesses, startups, um, pull the shoot right before they're about to make it big. Mm -hmm. So they give up, you know, they're almost there and then they, they just can't do it. And it is honestly like being on a roller coaster ride because one week's amazing and then the next week is um, very, very stressful and everything's going wrong. Yeah. So I think to really just keep pushing through and know that if you stay true to why you're doing your business and why you started in the first place, then you will be successful. 
yeah, I love that. <laughs> so true. So I'm just going to say them and you tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. iPhone or Android? iPhone. I drink my coffee. As soon as I get to my desk in the morning. I am happiest when I am. At home with my family. Most people would be surprised to learn I. I'm converting to be Jewish. I am most afraid of. Being alone. Somewhere scary. <laughs> okay, I am most proud of. The business that I've created and my family. The thing that rocks about working in tech is. You get to meet very fascinating uh, people doing amazing things. The advice I would give my 15 year old self would be. If you put your mind to something, you can accomplish anything. My fave song to rock out to when no one is watching is. Daft Punk, I love their new album. Head on over to taratalkingtech.com and let me know what you think of the video and share the names of any rad women that you would like to see featured on the show. If you like the video, share it with your friends and share it with your family and be sure to subscribe to my newsletter at taratalkingtech.com. Have a great week and remember to get your tech on with Tara Talking Tech.